going into a curtsy lunge. Uh, so it's just another vari variation of a lunge meant to kind of get the hips moving in a little different way. Uh, with our curtsy lunge, so instead of just a reverse lunge, we're going to give those hips just a little bit of a twist. So I'm reversing my foot back behind my foot. So my left leg came to the opposite side. We come here. Again, we're twisting. You can feel those in the glutes as we twist and come back up. So one important part about this move is I don't want to get too wobbly. Uh, I'm not trying to get all the way down low all the time if that's too hard. I just want a nice, comfortable balance up and down. So as you come down into this lunge, a lot of that weight uh, is really coming down on those glutes. So instead of just coming into our reverse lunges where those glutes aren't doing a lot of the work, you know, the, the quads and the hips, as we add that twist, you're going to feel a lot more stabilization in those hips, into those glutes, kind of moving down into where the glutes and the hamstrings come together. So to be able to strengthen an area that we know uh, gets overworked a lot as we stabilize the body, you know, adding some of these side to side movements like our side lunges that we've done or our curtsy lunges are going to really help you not get into the race season but finish a race season. Oh,